This is John Morales with the Photographer's Toolkit and welcome to my series on getting consistent exposures from your camera. In the first part I showed you what a histogram is and in this part I'm going to show you how to work with a histogram. You'll remember from part one of the series that a histogram is essentially a graph. It's got zero on one end and it's got 255 on the other end. Zero represents pure black and 255 represents pure white. Now the first thing to understand is that it doesn't matter what a histogram looks like. Most of us think of a histogram looking something like this, but it doesn't matter if it looks like that or if it looks like, I'm going to start over again here, or if it looks like this. The main thing to understand is that you don't want the data in your histogram to extend over either boundary of the histogram. So what you don't want is a histogram that looks like this, for example. Because that means that if you have your boundary here, which is pure white at 255, that you have all this data over here that has been cropped off. In this case, what we have is the data stacking up to the right so that means that we have all these highlights that are blown out. So this is likely to be an, an image that is overexposed. On the other hand, we have here where we have a histogram that looks like this. And in this case, we have the cropping of the data off to the left side. So that means we have an image that is extremely underexposed with lots of areas going to complete black and in which there's no detail. A good way to think of this is that dealing with the histogram is like playing blackjack. In blackjack, you don't want to go over 21. You want to get as close to, to 21 as you can without going over. In the case of our histogram, what we want to do is we want to get as close as we can to the highlights without going over. The idea is to always expose to the right, put the histogram as far to the right as you can when you're capturing your image without going over. And we're going to look at some images now that will show exactly what's going on here with the histogram. So here I am at my computer, and I'm going to show you a sequence of images from the same wedding so you get a sense of continuity and what it's actually like to photograph an entire wedding. Uh, but here we have the bride coming out to see the groom for the first time. This is an open shade, uh, and so all I'm interested here is to get all of the detail in the scene properly recorded so that I have no clipping of any data. You'll notice here we have a black tuxedo and we have a white shirt and we've got the white dress. And weddings are especially challenging because it's very common to have a dark black next to a bright white. And that's always going to be the most uh, challenging type of uh, subject to capture. So here we have the histogram and you can see that I've got all the data contained within the histogram. There's no clipping off to the left, no clipping off to the right. So contrast that with this histogram here, which I uh, purposefully overexposed, and you'll see now that we have clipping of the data off to the right side. What that translates to is a loss of detail in the shirt. Here we can no longer see uh, any distinction between the tie and the shirt, and we're losing detail in the dress and once that data is clipped we can never get it back. We can make the tuxedo darker but there's nothing we can do for the dress. When you're photographing a wedding you'll often find yourself in either the bride's hotel room or the groom's hotel room and in those cases you often have a big window letting light in and it's really dark inside the hotel room and this is one such case and what you'll see is you've got uh, these highlights in the back here and you have deep shadow in the foreground. This is what you call a backlit situation. And backlighting is always challenging because your camera wants to expose for this background. But what you're really most interested in is all this shadow detail. So here we have my histogram. And as you can see from the histogram, I've got all the shadow detail. There's no clipping off to the left side. Now you'll notice there is clipping off to the right side. The right side is the highlights, of course, and that translates to all these areas in the back here and that's okay that those areas have clipped because we're not interested in those we're really interested in the foreground 
The camera can't handle everything you throw at it. Sometimes you have to make a decision as to what's most important. And in this scene, what's most important are the faces and uh, the clothing, the gestures of the, the bride, uh, of, of the groomsmen. So what I'm most interested with this histogram is I want to make sure I get all my, my shadow detail. And I'll let some of my highlights clip because that's okay. Here's the same shot where we exposed for the background and you can see the background is starting to look properly focused but then the guys are starting to lose detail. You're starting to lose detail between the tux and the chair and the legs. Things are getting lost. And you can see the histogram here and now you can see on the left side of the histogram you have a lot of cropping. So if you just pointed the camera at the scene and you trusted the auto exposure this is most likely what you're going to get and if you know how to read your histograms you'll you'll know that there's a problem you'll know that you should have some clipping off to the right side and that you should not have clipping off to the left side so here's another common scene during a wedding it's the first dance uh, the first dance is using a dimly lit ballroom and um, here what we're trying to do is get as much of the, the detail as we can and uh, we don't we want to make sure that we have data throughout the entire range of the histogram now it's okay that if we lose a little bit of detail in the background because this is a very dimly lit scene and we don't want to lose too much of our detail in the foreground you will notice there's some slight clipping off to the right side and that's because we have these highlights which are actually the light source in the scene anytime you have a light source in the scene you're going to get clipping because those are going to reproduce as pure white. The key here is that we have the histogram running through the entire scene. In this particular one, you'll notice that uh, it's not. And here I, I again underexposed. You notice that we have a lot of detail being clipped off to the left. So that means all these areas here and the, the groom's tux were starting to lose detail. And you'll notice we've got very little information in our highlights. What that's going to mean is with the faces, when you go ahead and, and bring that exposure up, you're, you're going to start to get a lot of grain because there tends to be a lot of grain in the shadow areas. Earlier I mentioned the idea of exposing to the right, and that's because off to the right, that's where the best information is and there's no grain. You're going to find your grain in the shadow areas. So uh, the more information we can push over to the right side of the histogram, the better our, our information is going to be. All right, so here's uh, the final shot of the night. The challenge here is to maintain the detail in the dress and the highlights and while still maintaining detail in the tux. And again, we do that by keeping all the information within the confines of the histogram. And here you can see we have a pretty much perfect looking histogram. It's a little jagged in the middle, but that doesn't matter. But you'll notice there's no clipping of detail off to the left side and there's none off the right side. That means I can really bring out all the details of this dress as well as capture some of this information over here which is looking like it's completely black. So what I did is I, I went and touched this image up and, and put an overlay on it and dodged and burned to make it a beautiful image for the Bride and Groom's album. You can see there's plenty of detail in the tux here. But we haven't lost anything in the dress. So here's the histogram. Uh, you'll notice I moved some of these sliders in on the right and what that does that sets my black and white points and we'll talk about that more another time uh, right now we're mostly focused on getting the exposure right in the camera but the idea here is that you have the entire range of data this entire scene is uh, is adequately reproduced there's no areas that are blowing out and there's no areas that go to black so that's it for using your histogram in the next segment I'll talk about how to properly set the exposures in your camera for the Photographer's Toolkit, this is John Morella signing off.